Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Neha Kirkar Science Tutorials and today our topic is Plant Kingdom. See, uh, this is very vast topic so I have divided my video into two parts. In part one of my video we will discuss about plant parts and their functions and in part two of my video we will discuss about the parts and function of leaf. So moving on with the first part of my video, plants and its part. See, the main parts of the plant include the shoot system, which includes stems, flowers, leaves, and the fruits, and a root system, uh, which lies usually below the ground. If you have noticed that I have used the word usually below the ground, because there are certain roots which lies above the ground. Um, I can also give you an example, like uh, there are certain aerial roots, uh, it can be, uh, if you ever seen the Bargad ka pear or the banyan tree, the roots grow above the ground and uh, they hang from the branches of a tree. So that are called prop roots and they lies above the ground. We will discuss about these kind of roots in detail in this video only. So moving on to another part. Okay, this is the pictorial representation of the part of the plant. So here is the root system and the shoot system. This is the shoot system, which includes the fruits, stem, bird, flowers, and leaves. And a root system, that roots are underground. So this is a basic plant structure. Moving on. Okay, so roots are the part of the plant that doesn't bear any node, unlike stem, which has node and internode in it. Next, it uh, lies usually mm -hmm. below the surface of the ground. Obviously, the roots are and if you talk you know commonly so they lies below the ground and there are also as we have discussed certain roots which lies above the ground so it can be aerated roots aerial roots and there are a number of roots which doesn't lie below the ground next it's uh, similar uh, that they are aerial or aerated and the uh, main they help the plant to transport water and mineral from the ground to other parts of the plant, to the stem or to the leaf of the plant. Discussing their functions, the function of root is that they first roots ko jo hum kehte hai, jar, that means they anchor or they firmly bind the plant in the soil. Next is that they absorb water and mineral from the ground, from the soil to other parts of the plant to the stem and to the leaves and other parts of the plant through xylem. If you don't know that uh, or you're not much familiar with the word xylem, let me tell you that all the vascular plants, although uh, you know vascular plants are almost 90% of the land plants are vascular, they are called vascular because they have xylem and pelom tissues in them which help the plant to you know uh, transport water and mineral. Xylem helps in transporting water and mineral from the soil to the stem and loam helps, uh, it is a tissue in vascular plant that helps in um, transporting the products of photosynthesis from stem to the roots. So the roots absorb through xylem the water and mineral from the soil. Next function include that they translocate water and mineral to the stem. They also prevent soil erosion. Yes, because the roots firmly binds the soil particles and in any case of erosion, it can be wind erosion, water erosion. This doesn't allow the, you know, uh, wind uh, with a great speed or water with a great speed to take away the soil with them. So in this way, they prevent soil erosion. And they are also used to store food. There are certain modified roots which help uh, to store food because you know uh, whenever during the process of photosynthesis the end product is glucose which is stored in plant in the form of starch. So when you starch a plant you have, uh, you know, other uh, parts of the plant may store karta. it can be stored in stems, it can be stored in leaves or it can be stored in roots also. So uh, some roots are such modified that they store the plant food. It can be in the form of water and carbohydrates. And uh, there is a fact that desert uh, plants, their roots are so modified, they, are, they can store up to 70 kg of water, such a huge amount of water because there is scarcity of water in deserts. So they uh, tap so much amount of water in them and they have the plant to survive in desert conditions. 
Next is that uh, apart from uh, storing food, they also are such modified to perform the functions like nutrition and reproduction. Um, like uh, there are certain parasitic plants uh, that derive, they are the non-green plants and they derive their food from, uh, because they didn't get, uh, they uh, cannot perform the process of photosynthesis. So they derive their food from, by, uh, you know, clinging to the um, other host plant and they derive their nutrition from there. So these are the modifications, certain modifications. Here is, you know, roots, you can see. They are, you know, firmly binding the soil particles. They are deep under the ground and transport water and mineral from the soil to the stem and other parts of the plant. Next is the types of roots. The basic types of roots include taproot, fibrous roots, and adventitious roots. So uh, this is fibrous root. These are tap and the adventitious roots. We will discuss about them one by one. Starting with taproot. See, taproot is a root which has a primary root in it. If you can see that this is the central primary root which is present in taproot. And from the taproot, there is coming another roots which are called as the secondary roots. And from the secondary roots, there are another, you know, roots are subdivided. These are called tertiary roots. So these are also called as root hairs. So in uh, tap root, there is a primary root and which is, you know, uh, deep under the ground and other root hairs are also present called secondary and tertiary roots. They uh, are always under the surface of ground and they, their main thing is that they develop from the radical of embryo. Radical of embryo means embryo is the baby plant and when it germinates, so the first root is called, which is plant ankurit hota hai to jo usme se first baby root hum keh sakte hai jo hoti hai that is called the radical so mm -hmm. tap root always develop from the radical of the embryo and they are found in all the dicotyledons uh, their example include mango neem pea carrot radish turnip aap logo ne you know usually aap carrot or radish to sabne hi turnip these are the fruits uh, these are the sorry vegetables which we all are familiar with. So, when you see that carrot is a root, so when you see that there is a root, the root is there. So, the root is a root hair. So, the root is a primary root. Uh, carrot or radish is a primary root. And the side is the root hairs. So, uh, that are the called lateral roots, primary or the secondary or tertiary roots. So, this is very you know common. These are some some of the what tap root is. Now, another is fibrous root. Fibrous root, up dekh sakte hain, the diagram, the pictorial representation. In fibrous root, there is no primary root. Koi central root nahi hoti usme. There is no primary root. And there's a cluster of other roots. Of, these are all of similar types, which do not go deep into the soil. They are found, you know, very close to the surface of the soil. And um, they are found in monopods plant usually. And one thing more that they did do, do not arise from the radical of an embryo, they are, you know, directly attached to the stem. Their examples include rice, wheat, mage, grass, banana. Uh, so these kind of roots are fibrous roots. Okay, adventitious roots. These are the type of roots which do not arise from the radical of an embryo. That is, they develop from, they can develop from the stem, they can develop from the node and internode and the branches, cohesive you arise only, but they do not arise from the radical at all. So uh, they are seen growing from aerial parts of the plant usually, like snap sugar cane ki jo stem, and the, these roots are called adventitious roots because they are developing from the node of this sugar cane plant. They can, uh, you know, uh, in case of plant inju injury also, they develop sometimes. So, uh, because they increase the survival chances of plant. These tissues are usually short-lived. To explain them, 
in more detail if it's not clear to you like uh, discuss about the types of adventurous route but in brief so first is common example say hum aapko samjhayenge this is the banyan tree so as i have already told you banyan tree matlab jo barbat ka ped hai it's very common and usme jab aap dekhte hain jise hum hindi mein some people call it dadi ped ki bolte hain so that is the top root actually it develops above the surface of the ground and it's developed from the branches and they are so you know so thickened sometime that it is uh, almost impossible to uh, categorize that which is the main branch and which, uh, which, which is the trunk and which is the branches is which are the roots so they are in the downward direction they are hanging from the branches of the another one is tuberous roots this is the sweet potato and the roots are rising you know you can see the adventitious roots here so they are not developing from the embryo and they are not underground so they, it is another kind of adventitious roots other types are floating like uh, they are generally found in aquatic floating plants or climbing so the common thing is that uh, sucking bee ho sakti hai which is parasitic plants for example i have given you already or reproductive uh, roots bhi hoti hain sweet potato jo ye stem cutting se jo vegetative pro propagation hota hai that are all uh, types of adventitious roots so, so they we have to remember that they do not develop from the uh, radical of embryo and they develop from the root branches leaves can be developed only but not from the radical so uh, moving on stem the stem is the part of the root system that lies usually below the ground again i'm using the word usually because all stems do not lies above the ground there are certain roots which lies uh, below the ground common example is potato another one is that they can be woody in nature or they can be soft अगर आप बड़े बड़े बिग ट्रीज देखते हैं तो दे हैव वुडी ट्रक एंड इन केस ऑफ हर्ब और शर्ब द स्टैम्प्स आर हर बे सॉफ्ट इट्स अगेन द मेन फंक्शन दैट दे नाउ ट्रांसपोर्ट टू फ्रॉम द प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस टू अदर पार्ट्स ऑफ द प्लांट फ्रॉम लीव्स टू रूट्स नेक्स्ट इज the stems and its basic functions okay it supports the plant it holds the leaves buds flowers and there are certain modified stem because maine aapko pehle hi bataya ki photosynthesis mein jo bhi food plant banata hai it gets stored into the uh, plant parts it can be either roots it can be either leaves it can be either stem so ye sab ye sab store karte hain food ko plants ke and uh stem transport the water and mineral to different part of the plant from roots to other parts and uh food from other parts of the plant to roots so there is you know they are mediocre type jo pani ko leaves tak aur other parts tak pahunchayegi aur products of photosynthesis yani ki food ko um leaves se roots tak pahunchayegi next is okay there are the basic uh, terms i think aapko pata hone chahiye roots se uh, associated hain sab first is node node ye hota hai jo jahan se attach hoti hain leaves ya aapki aerial roots bhi attach ho sakti hai flowers attach hote hain jaise aap pluck karte hain flower leaves ko to jahan se wo uh, attach hoti hain that mean is called main part is called node the distance between two nodes any two nodes is called internode and this is petiole it is the stalk that extends from stem to the base of leaf yeah. right and this is leaf which we will discuss in part 2 about the kinds of leaf their functions and all in detail now another part of the plant is this is very beautiful part this is flower flowers are the most attractive part of the plant they look so beautiful they give so much fragrance and they are used for various purposes also these are the some common flowers rose beautiful flowers roses marigold so they are used for many purposes apart from you know attracting the bees or other insects 
uh, they are used by humans in making of cosmetics they are used by us in making of various perfumes jo aap different different color ke aap talc use karte hain usme ya rose water use karte hain so that all are you know derived from these flowers only garlands hoti hain they are used for many purposes next is fruits and seeds mm, fruit is a juicy fleshy part of the plant and i hope you all are eating a lot during the quarantine a lot of fruits to increase your immunity so uh, fruits we all are aware the seed is again the hard part inside the fruit and there are certain uh, there are certain fruits which ha are having one seed and certain fruits which are having many seeds like aap tegra isme picture mein bhi dekh sakte hain like papaya mango watermelon they are having lot of seeds agar hum mango ki baat kare to apricot hai mango hai it is that they are having only one seed inside that there are some seeds which we eat and some seeds which we don't agar hum edible seeds ki baat kare to usme hamari jo nuts hote hain uh uske alawa pomegranate these all are edible seeds banana again edible seed or non edible seeds mein जैसे आप जिन सीड्स को खाते नहीं है फेंक देते हैं ऑब्वियसली ऑरेंज हो गया पपाया वाटरमेलन मैंगो दी सीड्स वी डोंट ईट एप्पल सो मेनी सीड्स वी डोंट ईट लास्ट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ सीड सीड इज यूज टू यू नो कहते हैं नेवर थ्रो अ सीड अवे बिकॉज जो सीड होता है उससे बेबी प्लांट बनता है तो इट प्रोड्यूस बेबी प्लांट इट जर्मिनेट्स इन द राइट कंडीशन बिकॉज ऑल सीड्स डू नॉट जर्मिनेट हर जो सीड है उसे आप सॉइल में अगर यू नो उसको सोचते भी हैं कि उससे एक प्लांट बन जाए तो इट इज ऑलवेज नॉट द केस बिकॉज सीड ओनली जर्मिनेट्स वेल इट गॉट द राइट कंडीशन राइट कंडीशन मींस राइट वाटर राइट वॉर्थ एंड राइट एडिकेट अमाउंट ऑफ एयर आल्सो स्पेसिंग भी बहुत जरूरी होती है तो दिस आर द सम कंडीशन दैट हेल्प सीड टू जर्मिनेट आप इस डायग्राम में देख सकते हैं दिस इज सीड एंड इट इज यू नो द फर्स्ट प्राइमरी रूट रेडिकल it is in the form of tap root it is penetrating into the uh, soil and getting right amount of air water sunlight it is germinating it is developing the root hairs here leaf pe aage choti si and it is now growing and now it is fully developed into a beautiful plant so um, this is how the seed germinates and how we get a beautiful plant with you know so many parts at stem its roots and they you know they it's a very diverse uh aisa nahi hota ki roots hamesha ground ke andar hi hai aisa nahi hota stem hamesha upar hi hai there are so many exceptions and modifications but in general what uh, is what i have discussed so um, i hope you like my video and stay tuned to my next video in which we will discuss about the all about leaves the functions the parts of leaf the type of leaf pinnate compound and on the basis of venation reticulate parallel leaves so there is much to discuss in part 2 stay tuned till then take care bye bye